The astronauts also turned their cameras toward... Oh, I remember those first pictures of the little blue and green planet from outer space. With much more brightness than the moonshine we've seen. It was almost science fiction. Almost, I could hardly believe it. And now things that I've seen looking at satellite images, seeing the extent of deforestation. We, the most intellectual species, are destroying our planet. As ecosystems are destroyed, plant species, animal species will disappear. These are shocking things, but it should wake us up. We should be very, very alert now. Gombe is the smallest national park in Tanzania. When I began in 1960, Gombe was part of the equatorial forest belt that went all across to West Africa. By 1990, it was a tiny island of forest surrounded by completely bare hills. That's when it actually hit me. If we don't do something to help the people find ways of living that don't destroy the environment, we can't even try to save the chimpanzees. It was in 1994 that the Jane Goodall Institute began its Takari program. This idea of working with the people was sort of new. I mean, others were handing out bits of money and jobs and stuff, but this was working with the people. We talked about the terrible erosion on the hills where they'd removed the trees, but they removed the trees not really through ignorance, but through desperation to grow more food. They wanted fertility, put the overused farmland, which we managed to do without any chemicals. And we were all providing people with jobs, helping us to observe the chimpanzees. Once the villagers had come to trust us, they began to understand that preserving the forest, the environment, was just as important for their own future as for preserving wildlife. They got together all the data that they have decided is important, whether it's an illegally cut tree or whether it's a sighting of a chimp nest. The volunteer monitors all record the same things. They enter into the smartphone all the data, plug in and upload it. GIS has really changed the way that I can see into the future. It gives us a whole new tool for understanding the environment that we cannot see from down on the ground. That information becomes available to JGI, to the village leaders. It's part of a picture of what's going on around the globe. indomitable human spirit, the resilience of nature, the energy and commitment of youth, this incredible intellect. Those are my reasons for hope. If we get together now, it's not too late. We can solve the problems. We can, we must, we will. <laughs>